Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? <laughs> Looking at the light, darling. Oh, sorry about that. Say hi, Sherry and Chris. And Lisa. Hi, everybody. That, that covers it. <laughs> Are we having fun yet, guys? I tell you what. Talk about stirring up, up the viper's nest. They're all coming out hissing and, and snarling. Don't you love those Christians? Aren't they just a, a meek and mild lot of, of uh, non-judgmental, lovely people? What's the silly woman that just said, I look like the Shredder to rinse, so therefore I must be the image of the beast? No, 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 Glastonbury ghost, no, that's Glastonbury girl, she's, oh dear, she's been stalking, she doesn't, and she grew up in Glastonbury where the first bloody church was, yeah. oh no, she's, bloody, yeah. but she's, uh, she's a, a beast worshipping, um, you know, she's got the mark of a beast in her, um, look people, you, uh, you really, uh, total, total, I want to use the word fuckwits, but... No, don't swear. I wouldn't fucking will say that. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> uh, however, you saw the uh, letter that uh, was sent but to me. He's a genuine man, right? A man has searched all his life, growing up through the Catholic Church in Holland, had spent some time in New Zealand, knows the uh, very, very wealthy people, Illuminati, I suppose, this man was that he spent some months with in uh, New Zealand, who himself wanted to get away from the the dreadful uh, lifestyle that he, as a rich man of Holland, is has been imposed with. Uh, I think he's quite disgusted with it. There's, there's no life with money. Mm. No, but the uh, um, this man became a born-again Christian in January of this year. Mm. It's, it's chapter, yeah. And uh, uh, that was the... Big mistake. Uh, <laughs> but it was the, the final on the Genu road. He's genuine. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's the difference. And... Uh, He's in his mid-40s and he has lived a life searching for the truth. Now, um, most of you didn't bother to listen to the entire 13 parts of the series. That just uh, goes to show how really unintelligent you are and um, why you won't make it. You Love is the highest form of intelligence and if you cannot uh, see nor hear what it is that we are revealing to you in the manner that um, it is being revealed to you, then you are undeserving even of forgiveness. And, um, you know, you're welcome to go where Lucifer's headed. And then uh, when you come back at the end of a thousand years, you're all headed if, for this. If I don't change my mind. Um, yeah, you're all headed for the second death. It, uh, what else would you expect? We are in hell, people, so you need to get your look, mind look around it. Look at the Somalia it. thing, you dopey fuckwits. There's people over there, 90% of the people are going to die there because of people just like you. Yeah. Too tired and too stupid to get off your fat fucking asses and even to look into the things, what they're doing with this alimentarious bullshit that they're taking the food, even to the point now where they are saying there's not enough money to supply food for these people. When the money is created on your birth certificate, you're all fucked in the head and you deserve the hell that I'm going to give you. Right? You deserve it. The angels know what you're doing and they're on automatic pilot. That's what you don't understand. I can change my mind and flap about, but the reality is they've been with you all their life and they know what kind of people you are and you're going to get paid back big time. And then if... We allow you back from heaven where Lucifer is going to give full reign over you. Uh, we'll see you as the creator is in, won't we? If. Now, on a brighter note. <laughs> I'll try I've to be just... serious here, will you? Stop. Well, uh, uh, I mean, the reality is the, the, these people are um, they're not worth it. I've, I've reached that conclusion with the amount of suffering that uh, is going on and they are allowing to go on because it all stops when the news that the Look, crisis... Just read Mein Kampf, okay? Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf. Read Mein Kampf. The first four or five pages is enough to convince you. 
that this man was given the bummest rap of all time. Hitler was a saint. All, right? all German people, what he said, what God was within them. And he wasn't going to put up with this bullshit Jewish claptrap Jesus thing. Christian. Christian. Yeah, he said you were either a German or you're a Christian, that they needed people focused on the here and now and that God exactly. was within them. He got it right. And uh, we are in hell. Once you get your mind around that, the south side of the center line of the Milky Way galaxy is hell. Right. So the reality is, should you die in the next few minutes, you will go into the heavenly realm of no time. It will be an old, oh shit moment for all of you. You will know all truth then. And then you will be sent to the area uh, where the angels decide that you need to go to. So the Christ is on the earth. Get used to it. Now this is the reality. Once the news goes out, and this is why Lucifer has prevented it, he has prevented the news going out since 1944. Well, let's put a challenge out here. There's 36,000 different denominations of churches in the world. Christian. Christian churches in the world. Isn't that the same thing? No. Oh, all right. Churches of all kinds. That they've... All right. Find me one and do a recording of it that says there's a possibility that there's a man and a woman that is actually curing AIDS. And it's actually causing people in these lost nations who are suffering from mal malaria and cancer and or some of the people in Fiji that we've just recently cured, right? Any of the churches there in Fiji will do. Not one of them will give any compliment to anybody, not naming me at all. I don't care about that. To say to their congregation that there is a cure. For breast cancer there is a cure for malaria why do they not say so the reason is they're all freemasons the world is dominated by it and you who say that we are not the creator then what would you expect the creator to do when he came to the earth as jesus wouldn't he have done the exactly the same thing that we have been doing? I've shown you that there is a single point in time that is determined by the movement of the Earth and the solar system itself, and solar eclipses, that measuring with the most accurate GPS software on Earth, that's global positioning software, gives you the very bedroom that I was born into. What is wrong with you people? Show me one thing evil I've done in my 67 years. Show me one lie I've told. I'm all over the internet. Search my name. Millions of times you'll find it. You'll never see me back up or not to tell the truth. So what do I get out of it? They try to kill me, but they haven't succeeded. Why? What have I got about me that stops them from killing me or do they not see me as a threat at all anyone else who cures AIDS or cancers and so forth they're dead very very shortly why am I not killed think about it and uh, why have we all got your knickers in a knot through the revealing of uh, the Talmud the book the Zionists mm -hmm. worship Lucifer, Rothschild, and the Queen, they all bow down to the Talmud. You snakes out there, you are hissing around like you're just absolutely beside yourself. And the Christians are too dumbed down to understand that the ones that wrote the Talmud and, and worship abide by its laws, they all want you dead, Christians. You are too blinded. It's the blind leading the blind. How did you expect it to be at the end of times? And for all of you quoting Matthew about the false Christs and the false prophets. Who do you think put the fucking book together? It's all Freemasonry, you dumb bastards. <laughs> it's <laughs> the false... one word to be written down. That's exactly right. Not one word was to be written down for this very reason. 200 years later. Ta-da!
The Book of the Beast. This is the Book of the Dead. You all have your names written in the Book of Dead. And it's only 144,000 that get it, so don't get your knickers in a knot. And you really are, you know, the biggest sin of all is to waste your lives and you have all wasted your lives and you are continuing to waste your lives by spending every moment that you have pouncing on us with everything that we upload. If you don't like it, move on because there's room for those out there like the fellow who wrote the letter to us and the others that are coming and another lovely young girl came in thanking us. It's all about being free. To be like God is to be fully human because God is fully human. And to expect him coming back in the clouds on a big okay, white so let's, horsey. Let's do that fully human thing. Right? You're made in the image of the mother and father. God. Right? Yet you are actual fact, the image of the beast by your mind. Sure, you look like me. You look like Asherah. You know, you're a human being wandering around. But what are you actually concealing within you? None of you that condemn us have the slightest idea of what's going on. Dead. I refer to you as the walking dead. You are actually the zombies. So it's, um, you've got a few days left to wake up. That's why we continue to what, what we're doing. And for the one letter out of all of you, for the one out of 50,000 that do get it, they're the reason that we keep going. They recognize the truth, and that's what it's all about. If you'd been listening closely to the uh, closer record of the Aramaic Essene Gospels, it's only those who desire the truth that are the disciples of Jesus, Yahweh. And um, the Shroud of Turin belongs to us. So that uh, Glastonbury girl, you are so stupid. I have... Uh, read the occasional comment of yours and this one tonight just really your stupidity you are leading people <sighs> people sick. like people like you, you are... imagine going to war first world war second world war and you had to go and you're going to fight these nasty germans the hun right and you'd have this bastard behind you they're supposed to be backing you up stopping you getting into trouble you can imagine it that low life would be turning around and shooting through and yet the whole thing was organized to kill Christians, which were Germans, which were Polish, which were English, which were French, all fighting each other, and only Hitler got it right. Mm. Hitler. And then this saint that was demonised. Well, I'd like to have 10,000 Hitlers behind me. That'll do. How about 144,000 Hitlers? That's maybe that why we should call this one. Be like Hitler. Mm. Go and read Mein Kampf. Well, I was thinking about shaving my moustache and was doing it white. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting out like that. Oh, there's, they, they, they've already got me out there with a schwat sticker uh, uh, on my forehead. Uh, awesome. yeah, yeah. Um, the Dalai Lama has the schwat sticker too and, yeah, and a few Lama, others. The Dalai Bloody Lama. Yeah. <laughs> another total fuckwit. <laughs> Oh, and by you the way, kill a mosquito, you mm -hmm. let all two people get bloody massacred. Yes, yeah. By the way, for all of the you who are, uh, oh, geez, since when does Jesus say bullshit or whatever? Well, he says it a lot because that's what uh, who am I going to offend are facing. in this fucking shithole? Right? Who am I going to offend? You're in hell. You're all in hell. I'm here to get you out, you stupid bastards. Goodness me. Anyone else to do what I'm doing? Go out, go to the police station right now and say, I want to kill a fucking queen. You'll never get out of jail. I do it all the time. Oh, speaking of which, we're having somebody move in next door, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, in the next week or so. Yeah, one of the uh, family. Oh. Yeah. Not yeah. too much too soon, my dear. Oh, yeah. Loose lips sink ships. <laughs> oh, anyway. All right. Anything else to say of import? Yeah, get back. <laughs> Remember. Spread the, the word. The rock of offense. He doesn't Is want you. He doesn't. He's, uh, and Android out there, I've decided to use uh, that name. Android. 